Guys, hand sanitizer is great. It keeps your hands clean. It's not a substitute for washing, but it does kill a lot of those germs and bacteria and things that we carry with us. Uh, and so it's really good to use hand sanitizer. Uh, using soap and water does not kill the germs. The soap actually takes and lifts the germs off of your skin and then you wash it down the drain. And so while that's a great way to keep your hands clean, and it's really the recommended by 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, using hand sanitizer will kill the germs. And so right now we have been out of hand sanitizer in so many places and it's very difficult to get. And so one of the things I wanted to do is to show you how easy it is to make homemade hand sanitizer. Now the two ingredients that you need are some aloe, uh, just some aloe gel, and this will bind the alcohol. Alcohol is what kills the germs, and you need at least 60%. Uh, this is 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you can use, actually, grain alcohol, like Everclear, uh, but because it's, it's a real high alcohol content. Not vodka. Vodka is not enough to do it. But if you have something like this, 70%, and you know, typically you've been able to get this at the grocery or the drugstore, they're getting, it's getting a little more difficult to find because people are catching on to this. But... These are the only two ingredients that you need. Now the items you need are just some kind of bowl to do the mixing, a whisk to be able to mix it, a couple of measuring cups, we're using one third, and then you need a small funnel. Uh, and then you need some kind of little uh, bottle to be able to apply it. This one has one of the little pop-up bottles and you can just squeeze it. But uh, you know, some kind of bottle. There are some available in stores. Obviously at this point right now, you know, I'm not going to any stores. So, but this works really well. Just make sure you clean it out good. First thing we're gonna do is to take and do two thirds cups of isopropyl alcohol. Just gonna pour it in. Now let's take our aloe gel. We just need one cup of it. This may take a little time. Now this bottle is yellow, but the contents is clear. I'm just gonna fill this up to one third. Go ahead and push it, drop it into the alcohol. Now take your whisk, or you can use a spoon, or you can put it in the container and shake it up. We're gonna make sure we get this really mixed up. The aloe will help to make that a little bit more solidified but it's still gonna be pretty liquid. The big thing is the alcohol is what kills the germs. And that's the main thing. As long as you're putting alcohol on there, you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and remove our lid. Hopefully this will pour without spilling. <laughs> All right, there you go. We don't wanna lose any of this. This stuff is a precious commodity nowadays. There we go. Go ahead and return our lid. Now it's very important to put some kind of label on here because you want to know what this is because we don't want them to think it's country apple. Here we took some scotch tape, took a card and just wrote it on there. You can print this out. You can actually write it right on the bottle. It might smear, but uh, not very difficult to do, but I think this is important. Now guys, this is only 62% alcohol. So now we have a 70% alcohol mixture with the aloe. Uh, it's definitely more liquid, and uh, we're going to try it out. So I have my lid. Just pop it open. Uh, we're going to do it over this bowl. I think one of the things about the aloe, and you make sure you really get your hands good. Uh, you want to take time to get in between your fingers, get your nails, get the inside of your hands, your palms. Go ahead and give it a good scrub. Uh, one thing, though, that you want to do is allow for that to sit. You don't want to wipe off your hands after you apply it because it needs to kill the germs, and sometimes it takes a few seconds to kill them. And so make sure when you're using that, don't wipe off your hands. That's not near as fresh as some of the hand sanitizers I've used in the past, but hey, if it kills germs, I don't care. And you could probably add more aloe to thicken that up, but at this point right now, aloe is a little more difficult to get. And so you got to make do with what you have. If you ever need hand sanitizer, alcohol, a little bit of aloe, mix it in, and you've got your hand sanitizers. Hospitals use 70 plus percent alcohol to sterilize instruments. And so it's definitely effective. Now, these supplies are not the easiest to get. 
Uh, you can go to one of your home and garden places and get some aloe vera plants and squeeze it out. And that way you can use that as the aloe vera gel. And then if you need, again, the alcohol and you don't have the isopropyl, you can get Everclear. That's according to what proof, but 190 proof is definitely good and 150 proof would also be good. So you just want to make sure you have that right alcohol content. If you want to add a little bit of fragrance to it, you can use essential oils. There's a ton of different types. And so you can check that out and it will give it a little better of, a, of an aroma to the gel. But one of the most important things about using aloe vera with the alcohol, you can use the straight alcohol, but it gives you a little bit of moisturizing on your hands. And after a while, you're using that just pure alcohol. It can dry your hands out. And if you have any cuts or anything, it'll burn. And so it's really good to have that base to be able to protect your hands because you don't want your hands to get cracked and have some kind of open or, or break in the skin because that again will just lead to more problems. Hand sanitizer, sensible prepper style. You gotta improvise to survive, baby. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Now the tools you'll need, this is what medical professionals use. Here, stop that, stop, here, give me that. So here we just taped on a label. Here we just took some masks, here we just took some, here we just took some, uh... the guys I did want to add to, 